Hi everybody and welcome to Once Upon a Scarf. This channel celebrates the art of the vintage scarf from luxury silks to bandanas. Each episode we zoom in close to the wonderful stories they tell. Today we're dashing through the snow into a fairy tale image by the great Vittorio Aconero, best known for his flora scarf for Gucci. But he did countless other designs as well, all of them seasonal. This one holds a secret promise. Bundle up and come with me into deep midwinter to see the hidden gifts its snowy mantle holds. I'm the author of two classic books on vintage fashion, Secondhand Chic and It's Vintage Darling. I'm a huge fan of the luxury, affordability, and visual storytelling in great vintage scarves. I'm so happy to share what I know with you. Before we look at the scarf itself, a quick word about Vittorio Aconero. Mostly he's known for his great botanical designs for 1960s era Gucci, but his talents went way beyond glorious still lives. Above all, he was an illustrator of costume, smart society, and over 60 children's books. And here's where his talent flourished most. Image after image of rapturous fairy tale happenings with castles and magic animals and princesses and above all transformation, the heart of every great fairy tale. That sweet, sweet imagination spills over into high fashion in this scarf. And here we see a couple snuggled into a sleigh, wrapped tight in hats, overcoats, and a fleur muff and blanket as the horses charge through a snowy landscape. But it's not just any landscape. We can identify it. These are the Dolomite Mountains in the background, and this village may very well be modeled on Santa Maddalena in northern Italy. Despite being literally blanketed in snow, it's a happy place, solidly snug, with skaters enjoying a frozen pond, dogs going mad chasing the dashing sleigh, horses a jingle with bells, and above all, this handsome couple tucked in together under a thick blanket, which, when you think about it, only ever otherwise happens in one situation, in a much more intimate and private way. He's holding a bouquet of holly branches, which seems unusual because they are prickly, but I think there's a reason, which I'll get back to in a minute after we look at the rest of the scarf. It would be a huge mistake to overlook the border of any Aconero scarf. He takes an age-old pagan idea of floral garlands and transfers them on to silk to create the most rapturous arrangements of flowers, branches, fungi, and even weeds. It's in these borders that we first notice something strange. Of course, we have stark winter wonders, like allium skeletons, and teasel husks, and pine cones, as well as more lively versions like yew and rose hips. But down along the base of all of these winter standards are flowers. Crocus and alewives and cowslips. What are they doing here? And that's when this scene begins to give up its secrets. We begin to notice more flowers poking up here and there in the snow. And these two birdies are looking at each other quite meaningfully after a winter of hard scrabble. As it happens, the gentleman's bouquet of bright red holly berries mirrors an ancient Celtic belief that these passionately tinged fruit held the promise of the light and warmth of spring and all that spring brings. So even if everything here is blanketed, either in snow or fur or heavy cloth, and our couple is enjoying it right now to the max, there's a delicious anticipation of what comes next, once the sheltering snow and the frostproof layers give way. And that's today's scarf story. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you'd like to see more.